Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast for our taste test review of another high quality brown spirit, Monkey Shoulder Scotch Whiskey. This is coming to us from Bottled in Scotland. I am joined for this very good review by the indomitable Charles the Hammer Martell. Evening, folks. And the current reigning, defending, revolutionary wrestling podcast champion, the phenomenal Tony G. Still sore. So, gentlemen, I've been looking forward to trying this uh, whiskey for some time. I've heard that this is one of the best whiskeys for its money. And uh, rather than... You know, getting too deep into it, I'll just quickly read what we got here. Rooted in malt whiskey history and inspired by the malt men who still turn the malting barley by hand, Monkey Shoulder is blended in small batches of three fine Speyside single malts, then married to achieve a smooth, rich taste. Makes me already look forward to it. I have one question for you about monkey shoulder before you do that. What's that, sir? Is it corked? It looks corked. Yeah, it's got a... Oh, very nice. Uh, it's brown... Nah, brown... Oh, sport. it's fucking corked. Thank you, though, sir. Oh, no, you don't need it? Okay. Nah, they... Okay. They idiot-proofed it. Um, so... Pop that. Did you guys hear that? Did you all hear that out there? Mm, beautiful. Just smells like whiskey. You know, you don't really do that to tell if the wine's good. Just tell if it's corked. And this you is a whiskey. Yeah, but yeah. that's why people smell it. Right. Just to help with your. Actually, there will be a follow-up question once we've done this with the in regards to the cork. In case you haven't already, and I'm sure you have, would be foolish not to say when. Like, share, subscribe. I was about to say you get to keep up with the latest happenings of the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast. And you get to keep up with the latest happenings of this gorgeous mug. Greatest deal ever. This is our better version of Table for Three. Oh, so much better than that. There's no a that. network subscription for $10 so, a month for Table of Three or a free subscription with a YouTube account. Free! With, with which notifications. Which apparently is easy to do. Acknowledge the fact that this is age restricted, not for children. Click accept. Yes. Not yes. for kids. Fuck that. Alcohol review. Click like, subscribe. Yes. And share. Definitely uh, share. So yes. it's had a, it's had a second to breathe. Let's let it that's, hit the that's good, let's right? let it hit yes. the nose first. Let it hit the nose. Oh, uh, here's my. And you did say language. it's a blended scotch. Yes, you're to championship Tony in this win. His oh. in my recent win. But it does matter yes. when it is scotch, it does make a difference to let it breathe for a moment. Mm. Some people make the mistake, whether it's cheap, whether it's expensive, you have to pour it, let it breathe for a minute, and the taste is affected. I assume this is no different. Best for the money, let it breathe for a moment, then take your sniff. I always take that first snort and then I'll breathe. Oh, yes. Mm. Picking up a lot more grain than I do most... Reminds me of Jack Rye. Ooh, I, this like, is, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just, like, normally I'm getting, with a lot of American brown spirits, you just get ethanol, just immediately. I'm actually getting grain in just the, the nose. That's just fair. That's probably fair. Just fair. Farmer in you, but. Mm. I, I can promise the taste will not actually reflect the smell. Okay. Well, gentlemen. It's usually a good we've thing. Had, it's had, had a moment. A good thing, guys. It's had a moment to breathe. Now. The swirl. Give it a swirl and mm. give it a Cheers. taste. Mm. Mm. Ooh. That's that, different. That, that tasted that kick at the end. There's like yeah. little, there's a little thing at the end. What taste do you get? Uh, see, I'm gonna sound horrible when I say this, but good whiskey taste. My palate is not near as refined as. You're two gentlemen. You're gonna touch of the barrel wood, and I'm getting the weirdest honey hint. There it is. I was waiting for that. Honey. Oh yes. Mm. It doesn't hit immediately. I'm but like you said, 
it takes a moment, but the honey kicks in right towards the finish. After it settled down might your help. throat, might help. Okay. After it settled down your throat, then the honey kind of explodes out of nowhere, and I love that. That's a true aftertaste. That's a very good true aftertaste. Nope. A sweet one, and it's subtle, and it comes out of nowhere. Mm. There is that burn, but you know it is the brown sugar. Kind of burn. Even the yeah. best top shelf whiskey burns. Yes, like Middleton's burns. The yeah. last one we reviewed didn't. Um, like well, Buffalo Jesus, drink. I would hope something with peach in the title doesn't burn. I was not here for that, but I did try it, and I will say as far as flavored whiskeys or flavored oh. anything go, it sure is pretty good in the fact that it doesn't make you feel like you're going to lose a foot to diabetes if you drink it that night. Yes. True, but and it was good with tea, it was good on the rocks, it was good straight. As far as the Crown Royal lineup goes, that's hands down the best So that one, one didn't have There's bite. More. But no, as far no as bite. Scotch, this has bite. Scotch goes, I can only think of about two scotches I've ever had in my life that are better. And uh, the, hmm. uh, one was an Oban 12 year. And, uh, yeah. It was in a barn for 12 years? Batch. Ooh, where did you sample that? Uh, a great uncle of mine's house. Mm, uh, nice. And, yeah, he had a... He also had some G and G Nika whiskey. Oh, that was good. Uh, but I must say, in terms of blended Scotch, mm. Monkey Shoulder, you could do a lot worse. And yes. I even kept the sticker for what I paid on it here on the bottle. Uh, I paid just a little over thirty-five dollars plus uh, thirty-four yep. plus some tax. I just uh, want to make sure you have it the right way. Which away. is a really good buy for what you're getting here and the amount you're getting and the quality you're getting. You'll pay the percentage. same for Jameson and Walmart. Uh, it's 43% alcohol by volume. Okay. So just a little bit more than you're used to and most, normally it's 40 is kind of the I, market standard. I typically drink either regular Jameson or Bushmill Red Bush. Those are my top two Irish whiskeys that I free. Now I'm smelling the honey now that it's got to sit a while. Yep. As far as scotch goes, I usually do Glenlivet Founders Reserve. Just mm. a personal favorite. This, how does like... This, I was going to ask you, how does this stack up? Because you are the Irish whiskey connoisseur here. This is Scotland, in the same neighborhood anyway, right. as far as us uh, if, Yanks from... This would be much more concert. comparable to the Glenlivet family and... I'm very partial to Glenlivet. I like it a lot, hmm. and I, I like the Founders Reserve the best, but this probably has just a touch more bite than that, but it definitely has a sweeter aftertaste with that hint of honey. I really like this. I like this a lot. This is one that I would let sit naked in a glass for two hours mm -hmm. and sip it uh, yes. over an evening. Yes. And I feel the flavor mm. would change more and more as the night goes. It does. It um, does because you're not. Yeah. You're not. It, it's breathing more, and you're not affecting it with ice. Ice is going to dilute it completely. So just breathing what? like this would hurt. Would ice not hurt made it at of all. water is going to dilute. What? I know. Believe it or not, you chemist master. But uh, uh, to to I, put this in perspective, I watched a football game yesterday where they said, "Does this rain affect the field turf?" Does it make it slippery? So, it just might. I'm so glad I missed that part. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a fan of brown spirits, if you're a fan of scotch, if you're a fan of whiskeys of any kind, if you're a fan of any alcohol that is 40% alcohol by volume or greater, or if you like monkeys, because, you know, Jane Goodall Hall. Right. Yes. Uh, okay. Eight monkeys. Ranking, there. ranking wise, as far as however you want to grade it. We can do personal rankings. This is on a personal scale. Star uh, rankings, one yes. to five? What do you give it? Uh, on, a, it's, yeah, on a scotch scale, I will give this a 3.75. On a scale of all brown spirits? Mmm. Three. Three? Yes. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, no, three. Okay, three. It is tough to impress you with a brown spirit. Let me take that back. Three and a quarter. Mine's gonna be very plebe, so please go first and say my uneducated opinion of this. For I mean, that. I was about to say you gotta understand my I, last. I'm, I'm not really a whiskey the drinker. The last brown so. spirit we reviewed, I gave it a seven point two out yeah. of five. And you, uh, were, you were you were telling me you going to break the monster scale? Yeah, right. Wow. At least now, I know my 7.5 is the high I, I wanted to get a rise out of him, mostly. Uh, <laughs> Still broke the scale. Ooh, one In reality, I gave it five stars. Ooh. This, um, I would agree with you, but for entirely different reasons. I think you're wrong for the right, or you're right for the wrong reasons. I'm giving this three stars in terms of all brown spirits. Uh, you can get better whiskey on the market. You are going to spend a hell Twice of a lot much. more, Twice two, three much. times more yes. than Probably. I did here for this monkey shoulder. This is a high quality for the you price. You can get... Where'd you get it at, sir? Uh, just up north, sir. Not at not our local establishment? No, no, just the establishment just a few miles to the north. Ah, okay. But this, you can get cheaper whiskeys. But, oh my god, I don't even know that, like, it's two steps above bathtub gin, whatever you're going to be drinking. Yeah. So, this is really some of the best whiskey for its money. The best scotch, however you want to. So, I'm giving it three stars. He's giving it three stars. A three, I'll go three and a quarter. What yes. you rate? Okay, I'm not a connoisseur of whiskeys, whatever, like you gentlemen. But, out of what I've drank in my lifetime... My go-to is Crown. I put this above that. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, What's it above? I, I put I put Crown about a little above middle of the road average. You know, price, effectiveness, taste. It's it's there. This there beats go. it on price. It beats it on taste. I'm still waiting on the honey to kick in, but oh, it's there. It's there. Um, I I'd, I'd say Jack Rye is a little bit better. But that skew I had that last weekend skewed with a 25 year old Monte Cristo. But I'd put this in my top three to five that I've had. I'll give it a three. I can understand that because I'll give it a three and a quarter star. And just a side note, mm. if I had a good cigar, it would it, this goes good with a good with a nice cigar. Jack you Rye get, with a good cigar would be a and this, you, you have a good cigar, if you have a good cigar, 25-year Monte Cristo like I had, thank you, sir, by the way, this would be just as good as that Jack Rye with it. Mm. Now, as good as Jack Rye... This would take a high-dollar cigar to compliment. This is excellent. Mm. This is absolutely excellent. Mm -hmm. I, I like this a lot. I love the flavor. Yes. I love the scent. I love that it gets better See? as it sits out in the fresh air. So, I, I don't get the scent, but I do... Like I'm going to so recommend... Well. To the Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast, the KOE Nation, give Monkey Shoulder a shot. Next time you're thinking about stocking your uh, liquor cabinet, you could do a lot. All that being said, I am your King of Extreme, Phil mm -hmm. KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partners, signing off and handing it off to Charles the Hammer Martell. Controversial, undisputed, Tony fucking G. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night, folks.